you've got to feel there's a sense of urgency for that. Looking for Floyd, and it's intercepted. It's the Pro Bowl of Luke Kuechly that picks it. And they're going to get the football just outside the 10 at the 11-yard line. Here's the Carolina offense as they get ready to take over here. They had a great drive going last time. They were moving the ball, and then all of a sudden it just stalled out. So we'll see what they can do here, Charles. And it's always easy to second guess when you don't get it on a fourth down try. But they had to like the feeling that they had going on offense. They want to continue to see if they can capture that again on this drive and maybe get in the same position. Yeah, and that's, I mean, like I said, they were moving the football. It's not like they went four and out, so I don't think it's a deal where the offense doesn't have confidence. No, I agree with you totally on that one. If, if anything, they may have gained more confidence. Okay, they stopped it. Oh, no, he lost the football. But fortunately, he's able to recover his own fumble, or that could have been trouble. Well, that was a big oops right there. But how about his ability to correct it? Loses the football, able to get it back himself. Yeah, pounced right back on it, keeps possession. They come out here in the That's eye. Check three, check three. And they'll let their fullback try and push the pile. And he takes it into the end zone for a Panthers touchdown. Mike Tolbert punching it in from a yard away. And the Panthers use the short field to their advantage as they cash in for six. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. This will be fielded at the eight. <laughs> Solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32-yard line. Here's the Arizona offense now as they get set to take over. And last time wasn't pretty. One play and an interception. We'll see if they can do better. I want to see if they want to go ahead and throw the ball again now on this drive after what happened on the last one. Throw it on the first play. Give the quarterback <laughs> some confidence. See what happens. Three receivers to the left, one to the right. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. The intended receiver was David Johnson. And it'll be second and ten. This has been a really nice day for the defense. They've made it so difficult to find open receivers because they're able to squeeze the passing lanes down. A lot of what they're doing is communicating. Receivers in one area, receivers in another area. They're almost what they call passing them off from one defender to the next, even in zone defenses, and making it very hard to find an open spot for the quarterback to deliver the ball. Now it's Palmer. And the hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. Larry Fitzgerald was the intended target. And that's going to make it third down and 10. It looked like they had something there, but I think that he was thinking about running with the football before he actually hauled it in, and that led to a big drop. So a third and 10, let's go, let's go. and defensively, a dime look, 60 Bs. Pressure comes in, he's brought down, it's a Panther sack. And they're indeed gonna go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter, let's see how this plays out. Here we go, it's Palmer on fourth down. And no, it's incomplete. Boy, it looked like he had it and dropped it. And the Panthers are gonna get it back in excellent field position. Carolina getting set to take the field. And they will simply, Charles, be looking to duplicate what they did last drive when they were able to push it in for six. And they hope it'll be that easy, right? To be able to take exactly what happened before, replicate it. And he'll take this into the end zone. Touchdown, Carolina. Greg Olson, a 20-yard touchdown. And the Panthers add on to their lead. Well, that was the fly route for a touchdown, and since he caught that one and scored it, I got to tell the story. Before the game, we were standing there. He was running deep routes, and he's going to be swallowed up and taken down. Sacked back at the five-yard line. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. This is taken just shy of the 10 here. 
A strong running. <laughs> and he is out of bounds as they'll start up past the 30. The Cardinal offense now making their way back out onto the field. And this offense last time turned it over, went for it on fourth, didn't get it. They're lucky, though, because no points against the team on the board, but we'll see how they respond. Yeah, they've got to get a lot of credit to their get defensive ready. teammates, Ooh, don't they? Back. They had their backs on that last series, and because they did so, that allows the coach to still stay aggressive on offense and maybe go for it again in a similar situation. I was say, maybe makes that offense feel good but when you know you've got a defense making stands like that. Yeah, that will loosen up things a little bit, won't it? Maybe you'll play a little bit better the next time you have the ball. Now a play fake here on first down. And it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. On any passes in the middle of the field, anyone who's going after the football is going to be conscious that it's probably going to be contested and often physically. Sometimes that leads to drops. They come up at an empty set. Four wide receivers, one tight end. And he can't get away from the pressure. Palmer sacked. Coney Ely in there to bury him for a loss of 11. And the offense moving quickly to the line. Get ready. Now Palmer on third and long. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. They were trying to get it there to Michael Floyd. And that's going to make it fourth down. But, partner, anytime someone tells me that fundamentals are leaving the game, I'm going to show them this play because they couldn't get to the passer. So what do you have to do? Get your hands up in the passing lane, and they batted it away on a third down attempt. Here's Palmer to throw. And this is, oh, my goodness, he pulled it in one-handed. A big connection on that one. 31 yards. And they're going to speed things up here. Throwing his Palmer. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. It'll be a loss of 10. And it'll bring up second. Okay, I'm not sure you could actually draw up a better pass rush than that one right there. Nowhere to go outside. He had to keep backing up and backing up and backing up. Eventually dropped for a huge loss. That one was intended for John Brown. And they're going to be staring at a third and long here. We know it's not an easy job to go out and catch passes when people are trying to tackle you and knock the ball away. But the bottom line is, that's a pass he's got to have and a pass he should have caught. Seventh play of this drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. Get ready. From the gun on third down, it's Palmer. And he can't come up with a pick. Nearly his second of the game. Instead, fourth down. Pretty nice coverage there, but a missed opportunity for an interception. Let's face it, a lot of these defenders, they've got it all. Speed, athleticism, hands, a little bit questionable. They're already slim. Hopes are going to ride on this one. They'll go on fourth down. Let's go, let's go. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. And it's knocked away and incomplete. Bruce Arians takes a shot there, but his guys come up empty. And the Panthers will get the football back. Well, you feel the excitement build on those fourth down plays. Defense has to stay out there, but for the offense, when that thing doesn't work out, such disappointment. It can absolutely be a deflator, but how about the defensive guys? If they stop you on fourth down, they are absolutely elevated going to their bench. They're elevated now. Big stop on fourth down. And he takes this up right near the 45-yard line. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. And in this situation with a lead fourth quarter, they're liking keeping the ball on the ground, I'm sure. That's just smart football, but you know the defense has to know it as well. They've got to stop them here. So now we're going to see that loading the box in a big way. Six, seven, eight, nine, whatever it's going to take. Puts a little bit more pressure on your big offensive line. Time for a break. We'll come back to wrap this one up after this. Third down now following the run. Now a play fake, and it's Newton. He's going to fire. It's caught inside the 25. A big 30-yard play on third. 
Well, go ahead and throw the ball, man. You got the big lead. You got the clock on your side. Obviously, they don't care much about the feelings of the other team, do they? Well, I was going to say, you better run to the locker room pretty quick after this one. Well, right now, maybe they're just looking at it from the fantasy perspective. More points for everyone if they win big. The toss play, Stewart. And he's going to lose yards. They take him down at the 26. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. You have to love and admire the effort because he almost broke free in the backfield, but you also have to love and admire what the defense did. Swarmed the play and made sure he couldn't get anywhere. A loss of yardage. Now Newton, and incomplete. And that one was knocked away, and I think the defender's going to be a little upset with themselves. They made the play on the football, but that one felt like a forced pass by the quarterback. Thought he had someone open. He really wasn't. Maybe an example of having too much confidence in his receiver that no matter what, I'm going to throw it to him. And that was a play made by the defense, and it could have been a bigger one. And the offense looks to pick up the first here on third after that incompletion. Throwing on third down, Newton. Caught on the left side by Benjamin. It's a gain of six on the play, and it'll be fourth down. Whether you're playing West Coast offense or not, one of the maxims of the West Coast offense is you're either throwing a touchdown or a check down. In other words, look for the big shot, but be smart. I think they did exactly that on that play. They didn't get the first down, but they're taking care of the ball well. Yeah, and being rightly cautious with that lead here in the second half. Back to throw, Newton. And caught left side, Olsen. And he will have the first down before he's tackled at the 12. Well, it all came together on that one, didn't it? Big time throw on four. Now that had to feel good, didn't it? Taking that type of a gamble there and making it pay off. What a throw. And tough as a receiver because no matter how perfect the pass, you know it's fourth down and you got to convert. A little bit of extra pressure, but he overcame it. Give him credit for batting it away, but unable to come up with the interception. And sometimes that joke does come true. Guys are on defense for a reason. Maybe their hands aren't quite as skillful as the guys on offense, but a lot of credit on that play for just knocking it away. Throwing here, Newton. This will be caught just inside the 10. And he couldn't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. Smiles, everyone, smiles, because when Cam Newton and Greg Olson hook up like they've been doing throughout this game, that's one big reason why they're winning. What makes Greg Olson so tough to cover? I think he really is a wide receiver. And, it's and he takes it into the end zone across the chalk. Now there is a flag down, but I think that's offsides on the defense. Yeah, I think that's going to stand, partner. So a little icing on the cake there before the clock hits all zeros. What a way to finish things off. Exactly what you want. Not much time and a touchdown to put things away. And it's no good. It has not been his day. That's the second extra point he's missed so far. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. This is taken at the three. Ooh, the juke. And not a bad return here. He gets it out to the 25-yard line. And this is one of those Charles's broadcasters we dread a little bit. We had to go deep into the stat sheets and notebooks to find stuff to talk about. I hope you didn't notice, but I was stealing your notes as the game went along. I was like, Brandon, who was ready to go. Plenty of information. I started stealing from page 15 and 16 before you even looked down. So that'll do it for us, for my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hardworking men and women on our crew. I'm Brandon Gaunt. You've been watching the NFL right here on EA Sports. The Panthers are winners here as we say so long from Charlotte.